Hey guys, this is Man Hammer again. I know I said I wasn't going to do a video on the um, Nutshell Storm Crawler, collar, but I um, did some green, went ahead and started painting today and realized that uh, I didn't really like it, so I worked on him a little bit. Um, fixed his base up. Casting uh, Jaws of the World Wolf. I figure everybody's going to complain about it. He's going to be casting it. Blew the ground up with his staff. <laughs> thought that was kind of cool. What I did to him, you know, how the standard guy standing with the um, uh, his staff based out in front of him. The um, Storm Crow here is up here on his shoulder. Well, what I did where the section of green stuff is here. That was where this fist was at. Took and cut it out, put it back together. Um, this arm, basically there's a little triangle up underneath there. I just took it over one spot, which gives it that, you know, falcon ear look. Looks like he's holding, you know, a bird, hunting bird. Um, took and cut the wrist right there. Turn the hand, put it back together, green stuff in. And where the bird's supposed to be setting, I shave down and uh, reattach the fur. Also, this is broke off, so I had to reattach it. It's pinned here and here and here. So, it should be fairly strong. But, um, so I wasn't going to do him at first, but get him back down to his base. I wasn't going to do a video on him at first, but I thought he turned out fairly, let me go up here where you can see him. Yeah, it turned out fairly cool. I got a green stuff, one more dot right there on the bottom where the staff was not poured good and I never made a connection at the end. Should be a ball at the end, like a cane thing. Um, but uh, I think he definitely looks better this way than the uh, you know, having that you know, staff out in front of him. A bit more dramatic. But um, um, kind of like him. So. Yeah, I probably won't do anything else, you know, to him, custom-wise or modification-wise. But um, but I'll go ahead and finish painting him up and attach him to his base and take some pics of him. But like I say, they won't put, there won't be another video on him. But I just wanted I thought I kind of liked the way he turned out, and I figured you guys might like to take a look at him. So I figured I'd post him. A bit of him, the way he is now, so y'all can see him. On the uh, Wolf Lord guys, that I was, said I was going to be doing it, this video on. I'm going to show you what I run into. The reason I decided to do this, I have this Wolf Lord here. He's a old uh, um, see it, 1990. That's when this one was bought, or what was he manufactured? Games Workshop, or Wolf Captain, they call him. And, uh, and I think, see the right there, date. Let me see, wait a second, be right back. Yeah, it does say, it does say 1990 right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There it is, 1990. But what it is, I have basically this old beat up one that I've been that I was I was using as a captain way back in the day. Um, I've got this one too. The reason this guy's never really got any further than this was uh, um, there's two of them, and I just don't like having two of them, you know, especially in the same pose. See, this is the old baby blue. 
I never did care for that armor tone either. That's probably another reason I never used these guys. Um, but what I was going to do is change his facings and stuff by cutting. But the leg I need to cut has a bolter, bolt pistol, and the, that there I'm not too worried about. But I need to cut that leg and turn it to where it's facing forward. And the head, I don't know if you can see it very well on the video, it's attached. And a hard way to cut out. If I, I basically what I'm getting at, if I try to cut the head off, I'm going to uh, lose it. There's no way to cut it to where it's going to uh, be usable afterwards. So it's no big deal. I've got those in my sprues, you know, the the wolf helm off my new sprues. I could replace it, and you know, but I wanted to get him to where he was basically, you know, facing forward. But um, I was like need to change that leg or I don't know what do you think just cut the head off maybe and change his toys looking forward that would work too wouldn't it without having to cut through all this stuff here and like to say to change that leg the wolf tail has to come off the talisman right here but uh, this is what I'm looking at so you guys got any ideas on what I could do to mod him to uh, change him around? See, I'm thinking right now, just basically cut the head off, clean up the cut, and uh, apply one of the new heads, and just basically turn it to where he's facing, you know, forward like that. To uh, just like say, change his look from this one, and I wanted to make him up since he's got the wolf skull or the wolf helm turn him into a chaplain or wolf priest basically and um but so you guys you guys can think of anything I could do to sort of change him uh, you know please leave it in the comments so I get a you know, have an idea of what I want to help me figure out an idea to do something to this guy on the collar schemes. I was going to ask you guys what you thought of this. This is, whoops, let me fix the camera here. This guy here, I'm changing my collar scheme around a little bit. I can't really get a good picture, of course. There we go. Just some light. There we go. Well, on this light, he still looks as little, he looks light. But um, basically, it's a little darker, a little bit more gray than, like, say, you know, this guy here. So I'm thinking about going to that color for the rest of my guys. So you think I should, or just keep going with the? Um, old classic you know baby blue marines so I like these little the more blue gray collar these guys come out to but just a couple of questions I had for you guys so this is mainly what I wanted to show you I think he turned out pretty good uh, let me say that I'm liking that base. I'm liking that pose. But um, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, and I'll see y'all later.